balmy game has another brilliant goal. Hello everybody and welcome to Milton Keynes at the end of a very busy couple of days for MK Dons versus Sheffield Wednesday. I'm just wandering down to the ground now. So let me get this right. This is third MK Dons versus seventh. Now they're kind of the last two to go in this round of games in League One. Wigan who are top are actually playing right now so we don't know at this point in time what Wigan have done or are going to do but that's kind of immaterial the state of play is that MK dons a single point uh, will put them back above Rotherham who obviously I saw earlier on beat Ipswich and tie up um, level on points there MK almost need the win though because uh, they'll have played a game more and they can um, then have a three point lead with a game more however they're playing Sheffield Wednesday who are a good side as well and in seventh place now um, a draw for Wednesday is no good they stay in seventh if they win I've just been adding up the goal difference I think it's plus 21 and plus 22 for Wickham and uh, Sunderland who they're chasing I think Wednesday got plus 23 so it's incredibly tight on the goal difference but any win for Wednesday appears to jump them up from seventh all the way into fifth so really big game for both teams kind of um, must win for both teams in terms of uh, MK putting the pressure back on Rotherham they only have three to play after this um, MK uh, and in terms of Wednesday because Sunderland keep winning in the last minute don't they um, putting the pressure back on and going back into fifth in those League One playoff places where we've been saying for the longest time somebody is going to score a lot of points and not get in the playoffs this season. So for Wednesday, we'll not want it to be them. Uh, we'll get some team news in a bit. I'm going to get some food and then we'll enjoy all the action. Always hearing people having a pop at MK Dons, but that is a really lovely stadium and there are a ton of Wednesday fans I've just um, gone past outside. So should be, we hope, a decent atmosphere in here today. Here we go at MK Dance. That is a very impressive Sheffield Wednesday away end there. Kickoff imminent. Ten gone, and that very, very well populated Wednesday end is making a lot of noise because they've gone 1 0 up. Corner goes in shot. I think it was Delhi Bashiri who got the shot in. I have to say, it's through the keeper's hands. Bit of a fumble, and it kind of. Um, just trickles over the line. There hadn't been much in it up until then. First real opportunity of the game and Wednesday lead 1-0. Well, two corners for Sheffield Wednesday, two goals. It's Bannon again, he swings it into the near post. I think it's Gregory um, kind of shapes it in on the volley with his side foot. Really poor from MK, other than the set play, it's been a really even game. But Wednesday find themselves 2 0 up 20 minutes in, and really, this is theirs to lose now. 2 0 Wednesday. Wow, I do not believe what I've just seen. Barry Bannon has just brought the ball down and half volleyed it back over. The keeper's head from miles out. It's absolutely incredible goal from Bannon. The ball went long first and Lewington headed it. He didn't need to head it. The keeper's way out off his line. Bannon just incredible finish from then. And Sheffield Wednesday are 3-0 up now within 30 minutes. This is really getting away from MK Dons. Incredible goal from Bannon. And it's 3-1 now, incredible first half. MK get one back on 40. It's a really good ball through. Gets Parrot in, in the inside left position. Really good drive from Parrot. Goes into the box, engages the defender and just dinks it in. Um, someone tries to stop it on the line. It kind of just bundles over. Four goals in the first half here. Parrot scores for MK. MK one, Wednesday three. Well, incredible first half here as MK1, Sheffield Wednesday 3. Goal every 10 minutes 
pretty much. And I suppose MK will be looking back and thinking, how has that happened? Because it's just a case of Wednesday being absolutely lethal in terms of their finishing and in the box. Just a couple of set plays and then an absolute ridiculous, mega, stupendous wonder goal by Barry Bannon. Uh, Wednesday literally scored from their first two corners in this one and it was not uh, Deli Bashir, it was Berahino who got the first one. That did go through the keeper's hands. Second one, there is a bit of quality, I have to say. Um, Gregory gets through on the near post and then sort of shapes the half volley in. The third goal is a thing of absolute beauty. Yes, Lewington doesn't need to header it and leaves his goalkeeper exposed. Absolutely brilliant from Bannon. Touch and just one of those moments where the ball just loops over and into the net. Stunning goal by Bannon. And then Twine, uh, not Twine, uh, Parrot gets one back on 40. He's played it nicely. He does really, really well. So from the glass half full point from MK, they're not playing badly. It's even in terms of everything other than finishing, but Wednesday's finishing has been on point and particularly that Bannon goal was sensational. Look, will the goal back mean anything? We'll, we'll find out at 3-0 it looked all done for Wednesday, but looking forward to a good second half. Um, it's MK1, Sheffield Wednesday 3. Wow, 51 gone. We nearly had a second wonder goal in this one. Coventry smashed in a shot right footed from it's miles out, the keeper's done, it smashes against the post and bounces out. Great game this, uh, still 3-1 Wednesday, but a um, nice spicy start to the second half. 75 gone, still 3-1. It's become a bit sort of stop-starty here, which works in Sheffield Wednesday's favour, to be honest. A um, couple of subs by MK, but um, still... 3-1, they trail going into the last 15 minutes. I'm expecting probably six or seven minutes stoppage time as well though, so a fair way to go. Board has just gone up, 10 minutes of stoppage time to play. Goal zero for the Dons, and we do have a goal in stoppage time. It's another brilliant goal in this game. Scott Twine has just smashed the free kick in with his right foot from absolutely miles out over the wall into the top corner. We've got about three, four minutes of stoppage time left. It's now MK2, Sheffield Wednesday 3. And this balmy game, hello. No, clear. This balmy game has another brilliant goal. So, all said and done, MK2, Shiver Wednesday 3, bit of a humdinger of a game. Wednesday get themselves 3-0 up within 30 minutes. MK get one back before half-time and then one in stoppage time at the end of the game, but can't get it back to 3-3. So, Wednesday move up, back into the playoffs. Look, I won't say any more about that. That's going to be plenty of stuff happening in that fight between it now and the end of the season. MK is a bad day for them because Rotherham won earlier, then they'll play the game more and they're tied on the same point, second and third. Rotherham currently in second, uh, so MK have lost ground today. Um, if you want to know more about that Rotherham game, I was there and by teleportation have ended up here and you can check out my vlog there. Um, but let's bask and give the last word to two brilliant goals by Barry Bannon and Scott Twine as MK go under 3-2 at home to Sheffield Wednesday.